This presentation may contain language and scenes which may be objectionable to certain individuals. Viewer discretion is advised. again underdogs welcome to another episode of macho movies as always i'm your host macho mike picture this you're at a fancy hotel party trying to catch up with some drug dealers only to run into some immortal ninja warriors who are trying to kick your ass don't you hate it when those evil corporations are trying to rub you out this sounds like a job for an la cop and his karate kicking partner no not carter and lee not even riggs and murtaugh no it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Sonny Street Fighter Chiba. Two street cops on the road to hell. Immortal Combat. And what is happening in this place? Terrible things. For every man, there is an ultimate challenge. When L.A.'s top cops take on an undercover mission... This is the strangest party I've ever seen. Not many signs of Laney. Not yet. ...they face the battle of their lives. Who can predict the rage of a savage killer? I'm gonna find this guy who did this. On an exotic island, a vigilant reporter uncovers the secrets of the killer's powers. The Mayans living on this island have developed a way to create an army of invincible warriors. Indestructible and programmed to kill. I got everything under control. Oh yeah, I can see that. All things considered, you have put up a good fight. Back. Showtime. Roddy Piper. Sonny Chiba. Immortal Combat. This movie's fun to watch. I just love the banter between Piper and Chiba throughout the whole film. I totally buy them as longtime partners. And that's former American Gladiator Darren McBee with a hilariously overdubbed voice. Now the funny thing is, he actually went on to Mortal Kombat Annihilation. He plays Montaro. And all elite wrestler Chris Jericho also has a cameo in this movie too. He talks about it in his 2011 book, Undisputed. The thing is, he writes about how he gets beat up by Sonny Chiba, but that's wrong. He's actually getting beat up by Hiroyosu Fujishima. Now, the scene's about 12 minutes in, and if you blink, you miss it. But I'll show it to you right now. Let's see that again in slow-mo. <laughs> I could watch an entire movie of just Jericho getting kicked in the head over and over. Let's look at how the rest of this movie fared on a macho meter. We've got Meg Foster's hypnotic eyes, an angry police captain, mysterious native woman, Underground Fighting Circles, Gratuitous Battle Cries, a Sonny Chiba Weapon Suit-Up Scene, Neck Breaking, Stomach Carving, Throwing Stars, Vehicle Chase, Respect is Grenades, Kick to the Nuts, Blood Licking, Bitch Slapping, Foot Stabbing, Pro Wrestling, Death by Incineration, Ninjutsu, Jujitsu, Kenjutsu, Gunjutsu, 
Taser Jutsu, and my personal favorite, Teet Jutsu. Body count is 30, including three women. Now let's see Jericho getting kicked again. You know, this movie was originally called Resort to Kill, but when they released it in the United States, they changed the name to Immortal Kombat to, obviously, cash in on the popularity of the Mortal Kombat franchise. Not that I would ever try to cash in on anyone else's popularity, no. In fact, the reason why I'm reviewing this movie now has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that a new Mortal Kombat movie is getting released this month. Nope, not at all. Not even a little bit. And shame on you, Chris Jericho, for even implying such. <laughs> so reminder, you can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube, but above all else, check me out at machomike.tv. All my social media links are there, my shop is there, you can buy Macho merch, and you can see all the other videos just like this. That's machomike.tv. Ah, what the hell. Let's see Jericho getting kicked one more time. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with that. You've been great, I've been Macho Mike, and I'll see you on the next video at machomike.tv. Keep it macho.